हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर टॉपिक प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सो एज यूजल फ्रेंड वी स्टार्ट विद सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड लेटर वी विल मूव ऑन टू डिफिकल्ट वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए रिडक्शन ऑफ टेन परसेंट इन द प्राइस ऑफ साल्ट इनेबल्स ए पर्सन टू बाय टू के जी मोर फोर रुपीज वन एट्टी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिड्यूज प्राइस एंड ओरिजिनल प्राइस पर के जी ऑफ साल्ट रिस्पेक्टिवली सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट ए पर्सन अर्लियर यूज टू बाय साल्ट फोर रुपीज वन एट्टी लेट से ही बाय एक्स के जी साल्ट फोर रुपीज वन एट्टी एंड नाउ ही बाय एट द सेम प्राइस दैट इज वन एट्टी बट ड्यू टू टेन परसेंट रिडक्शन इन दाइस ही इज गेटिंग टू के जी मोर मीन्स नाउ ही इज गेटिंग एक्स प्लस टू के जी ड्यू टू टेन परसेंट रिडक्शन इन दाइस सो वी कैन से दैट टेन परसेंट ऑफ वन एट्टी इज इक्वल टू टू के जी एंड टेन परसेंट ऑफ वन एटी इज एटीन इज इक्वल टू टू के जी सो वन के जी विल बी एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट इज रुपीज नाइन दैट इज आवर रिड्यूस्ड प्राइस सो वी हैव फाइंड द रिड्यूस्ड प्राइस नाउ वी फाइंड द ओरिजिनल प्राइस टू फाइंड द ओरिजिनल प्राइस फ्रेंड देर इज अ फॉर्मूला ओरिजिनल प्राइस इज इक्वल टू P into R divided by hundred minus P into M, where P is the percentage reduced in the price and R is the given rupee and M is the how much more quantity is getting now. So by putting the value, P is ten, R is one eighty divided by hundred minus ten. Into two, m is two, so we get eighteen hundred divided by one eighty. That is ten. That is our original price. So reduced price is nine, and original price is rupees ten. Now we move on to our second question. Now before starting the second question, friend, please click on the like button down below to have more videos like this. Now, second question is two by third of commodity is sold at thirty percent profit, one by four is sold at sixteen percent profit, and the remaining is sold at twelve percent profit. If a total of rupees hundred is earned, then find the value of commodity. Means in this question we have to find the cost price of commodity, and it is given that two by three of commodity is sold at thirty percent profit. And one by four is sold at sixteen percent profit, and remaining is sold at twelve percent profit. And there is a total profit of rupees hundred, so we can write total profit as rupees hundred. And we have to find the cost price of the commodity. So to find the cost price of the commodity, first we have to find the remaining commodity. Let's say total commodity be one, and to find the remaining commodity, we have to subtract two by three and one by four from one. So remaining commodity will be one minus two by three plus one by four. That is one minus four to the eight and three to the three. Eight plus three divided by twelve. That is. One minus eleven by twelve, which will give us one by twelve, is the remaining commodity. Now to find the cost price, there is a formula. Cost price is equal to T P into hundred divided by A B plus C D plus E F, where T P is total profit that is given rupees hundred, and A is two by three. B is thirty percent, C is one by four, D is sixteen percent, E is the remaining commodity that is one by twelve, and F is twelve percent. 
so by putting the value 100 into 100 divided by 2 by 3 into 30 plus 1 by 4 into 16 plus 1 by 12 into 12. 3 1 the 3, 3 10 the 30, 4 1 the 4, 4 4 the 16, 12 1 the 12, 12 1 the 12. So we get 10,000 divided by 2 into 10 is 20 plus 4 plus 1 that is 25. 25 1 the 4 0 0. So we get 400 coach price. That is our answer. Now we move on to our third question. Now third question is Meena bought two fans for rupees 1200 each. She sold one at a loss of 5%. And other at a profit of 10%. And we have to find the total profit or loss percentage. So to solve this question, there are two methods, friends. First is the usual method. We first we find the total cost price, then we find the total selling price, then we find the total profit or loss percentage. But in our exam, as we have very less time, so we choose the second method. That is the allegation method. On selling one fan, there is a loss of 5%. So we can write loss as minus 5%. And on selling second fan, there is a profit of 10%. So we can write profit as 10%. And we have to find the total profit or loss percentage. Let's say total profit or loss percentage be X. And in the question, it is also given that cost price of two fan is rupees 1200 each. Means First fan is of rupees 1200 and second fan is also of rupees 1200. So ratio between these two is 1 ratio 1. We can write 1 ratio 1 as here. And by using the allegation method 10 minus x and x minus minus 5. So 10 minus x divided by x minus minus 5 is equal to 1 by 1. So 10 minus x is equal to x plus 5. So we get 2x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 2.5 percent. So as the value is positive, so there is a profit of 2.5 percent. If the answer comes is negative, then there is a loss. If the answer comes is positive, then there is a profit. So that is our answer. Now we move on to our fourth question. Now fourth question is a grocer sells rice at a profit of 20% and uses a weight which is 25% less and we have to find the gain percentage. To find the gain percentage friend, let's say he buys 100 gram rice for rupees 100 means it is the cost price and there is a profit of 20% on selling means we can say that selling price will be rupees 120. And instead of selling the 100 gram, he sells 25% less. Means he sells 75 gram rice for rupees 120. And the cost price of 75 gram rice is rupees 75. As 100 gram price is rupees 100, so 75 gram cost price is rupees 75. Means he buys for rupees 75 and sells. For rupees 120, so there is a profit of rupees 45. 120 minus 75 is 45. So we can easily find the profit percentage that is 45 divided by 75 into 100. 5 9 the 45, 5 1 the 5, 2 5, 5 5 the 25, 3 3 the 9, 3 5 the 15. 5 and the 5, 5 20 the 100, 3 into 20 is 60 percent. That is our answer. Now we move on to our fifth question. Now fifth question is a shopkeeper sells an article at 20 percent profit. Had he bought it for 10 percent less and sold it for rupees 18 less, then he would have gained 30 percent. And we have to find the initial cost price. So to find the initial cost price as we have already discussed that 
to solve this type of question we generally take cost price as 100% and on selling the article he has a gain of 20% so we can say that selling price will be 120% and after that it is saying that if we had bought it for 10% less means new cost price will be 90% that is 10% less and on that cost price there is a gain of 30% means we can say that new selling price will be 130% of 90% as there is a gain of 30% so new selling price will be 130% of 90% that is 117% and the earlier selling price is 120% means there is a difference of 3% between the earlier selling price and the new selling price and in the question it is given that he sold it for rupees 18 lakh let's say if we selling the article earlier at a rate of rupees 100 now he is selling at rate of rupees 82 that is 18 less than 100 so difference between these two is earlier selling price and new selling price is rupees 18 so we can say that there is a percentage difference of 3% between the new selling price and the earlier selling price and there is a price difference of rupees 18 between the new selling price and the earlier selling price so we can say that 3% is equal to rupees 18 and we know initial cost price is 100% so we can say that 100% will be 18 divided by 3 into 100 that is 3 on the 3 3 6 the 18 that is 600 is our answer that is our initial cost price so that's it guys for this video if you guys want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for watching.